People would would notice that in a <clears throat> in a time before there really were competitions between systems for graphics. This system definitely was bringing the graphics, even though what we'd see in the next couple of years come out blew this away. But at the time, for a little bit, it was pretty ahead of the curve. So let's. It, it was the one leading the pack. So and let, another let, thing on Plimpton, real quick, before we move on. We um, can't get enough Plimpton. It, you you got to check them out, and I'm. You'll see Plimpton, these commercials throughout this series. He pretty much personified the Intellivision um, just with his demeanor and how the they kind of pawned it off as like smart a smart box for your television. Yes, the intelligent, it, the intelligent television. Intelli television. It will extend your television experience with things like the failed keyboard that never saw the light of day until they were forced to to actually make it. Did you watch the Intellivision ads? Because <laughs> you sounded like one there. Yes, aggressive marketing, and we'll get more into that in the next games. Welcome back, everybody. Now we're going to take a look at Night Stalker for the Intellivision. But we're not playing it on the Intellivision. No, this is actually on the PS2 version of Intellivision Lives. The compilation for, um, the compilation game released by Intellivision Productions for the Intellivision. Woo, got away. Yeah, it's most of the, uh, the original titles that were released for the Intellivision, and it's, it's fully emulated using the original hardware, including the Intellivoice module, which will get to hear that awesomeness. And it's uh, done by the, the team that originally made this stuff. So there's such a strong community with this system, and we'll get more oh, into that as we go here. And television does indeed live. Unlike uh, Atari and Coleco that competed directly with them at the time. The and television has a continuing community to this day. Of, of a business, you know, not just a fan community. The people involved with it are still involved. And so, Ray's trying to kill angels, spiders, and bats, apparently. Uh, the angels are actually robots, but who's who's counting? <laughs> angels, robots, they're pretty much the same, I think. Angelic robots. <laughs> now, um, you notice I have to keep running back and getting my gun here. That's because you only have a set number of bullets. Apparently he's uh, only carrying around a revolver against robots. This is kind of similar is. to to the old arcade game Berserk. Yeah, a, a lot similar to that. And we, of course, have the Atari Running Man. Or, in television, Running Man. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Remember, it's not Atari. Atari sucks. <laughs> Atari sucks, as you'll find out as we present the commercials for this system. Yeah, they they wanted to make sure you knew that. And this game actually has music, which we don't hear with too many of these games. It's very it's the, horror-esque. It's the same thing over and over again, but hey, well, it's music. Three notes is better than nothing. Right. <laughs> Just as three frames of animation is better than none. Yeah? <laughs> ah, apparently the spider didn't want me to get that gun. Bastard. Kind of looks like a lobster, too. Yeah, kind of. Also a stink bug, maybe. <laughs> oh, 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 I got it! And he's gonna walk right up into me. Oh, that was dumb, robot. Well, what do you expect? It's a robot. <laughs> Not thinking outside the box. And we'll just decimate the rest of them here. Oh. It's one tricky bat there. Now, eventually, the robots will get faster and more difficult. They have a couple different levels of robots here. And, uh, they have official names, but, uh, I don't want to go back into the production thing to look at it right now. They Spe have it right here on the disc. Speaking of that, though, uh, with this disc, uh, this is the PS2 version. Uh, basically the same version was also available on Xbox and GameCube. And it, uh, has 60 of the classic games. It has interviews with the original, original developers. It has about a 10-minute, uh, 
history of the Intellivision, which is, um, you know, a lot of the same information we're talking about here. Throws in some bonus George Plimpton goodness. Throws in Plimpton. There's, uh, there's some great original uh, box art, artwork, images of the original team. A lot of good stuff on it. For the Intellivision fan, this is a must-have. And you can also play this in, um, like, different game modes. They have it to where you can change the video settings. And on top of that, we can take a look at the overlays and uh, set up how the buttons are mapped. Other side! Other side! <laughs> and you can also block your friends from being able to see what they're doing. Damn you! <laughs> Which I think is a lot of fun, you know. <laughs> That's half the f half the challenge. Oh, stop it! Sorry. You got me paused. <laughs> <laughs> he was oh yeah, the bats can't really hurt you. He was slowed. See? He just kind of gimps along. <laughs> He's like, how? <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> I fell down. And so, th the disc it has a lot of great stuff on it for anyone that's interested in the system and the history of it and everything involved with it. And uh, we'll get more into the history of of how that came to be later on as we go here. And Those we'll blue be robots we'll suck. be interspersing these titles right. off the Intellivision lives with the original cartridges, and we'll let you know when we're uh, playing the PS2 ones. Yeah, you'll be able to tell. A lot of times we'll bring up the overlay on screen, and we'll we'll maybe take a look at the the interface of it too, because it's very retroish and. Takes you back to the old days. It's back a, when it's a lot of Intellivision fan service. Absolutely, is what it is. that's that's all this is. And so, for anyone who's a fan of them, of it, check it out. This collection is also available on the Xbox 360 now on the Xbox Live Arcade. So, any way you want to get Intellivision, you can still get it. It's an excellent way to check out the system. So let's check out more of the system. Let's go frog bogging. Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, this is Frog Bog. Also, the first game I ever played, he says. So, we'll go with that. Now look at these in excellent Intellivision graphics. Wow. I was blown away. It's you... Intellitastic. Are you playing right now? Yeah, okay, he's playing. So, evidently, you're a frog in a bog, and <laughs> you do lots of things. You're not Kermit, but, you know, not every frog can be. No, they... They can only hope, really. So I like the the cattails in the background, or <laughs> pussy willows, as I call them. You just want an excuse to say. Pussy. I just want an excuse to say pussy on the internet. That's right. I don't need an excuse to say pussy on the internet. I want an excuse to say willow. Yeah, willow, pussy willow. So anyhow, you you jump around and you gather these flies and evidently birds. And I played a different version of this. I believe the sequel I played, Frog Bog Two, or something like that, where it's pretty much the same thing. You just have to collect these things and the score goes up and your adversaries get more complex as you go but it's I mean it's fun this would be a flash game nowadays or something yeah or a classic and television game yeah not much too you have your single screen here nothing really changes but it's fun Look so at those clouds it's an, yeah it, this yeah this would definitely be good kids fair this is exactly what that is, and children of all ages love this. Adults probably love this. Children of my age yes, still man enjoy children. this. Man, man, child, I think is the proper term. I still consider myself a child, so sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. It's almost like you jumped into a Flemish painting. No, not really. Good. <laughs> That's where it's, it's at. It's a little disturbing. I don't it know. Is. It's, it's, it's got a very creepy atmosphere. Yeah, that very there's trees and. It, it's sad. It's very to think dark on the outside. It's sad to think these frogs will never make it out of this bog. This is their entire <laughs> life. This, is, this the, is it. This is more of a sim game. This is the true life of a frog. This is sad. It is. I, I'm kind of bummed out right now. Mattel Electronics would like to... Listen, television. How come all you ever talk about are sports games? Sorry? And television now has games like the arcade. I know. Rock and shake. Absolutely. Tron Deadly Dead. Excellent. Right. Night Stalker. Awesome robot. Oh, glad you like them. Sorry. I can't hang around here. I'm going home to play my Intellivision. Who was that kid? Who's Jane Gamer? Stop, drop. 